I cannot believe that price difference. Is it giving Kendall? Yes, 100% yes. <laughs> to my channel. I have a aloe yoga try on haul for you today. It's spring break where I am. My kids are home. They're noisy. It snowed one foot in the last 24 hours. So it's complete chaos here. We're going to bring it down a level. We're going to be calm and serene as we review these yoga pieces together. Now definitely stay tuned till the end because I want to show you my most favorite purchase so far this year. My most favorite leggings I have ever found. Now as I was preparing for this video, I was doing a lot of research online and I was shocked at the prices of some of these yoga pieces. I almost didn't do the video because I really only want to be reviewing options that resonate with me and my values. And for me, the price point is just a little bit more than I like to spend on yoga wear, lounge wear. I almost just scrapped the whole video until I decided to go to the mall and actually go into one of the aloe stores. So two stores opened up here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, where I am. And I went there last night. I could not believe the prices, the difference between the prices online and in the store. And more to come on that later. Now, even if you're not in Canada, I recommend watching because I did grab pieces of different fabrics and styles. Now, we are online shoppers. We all are. You can't deny it. Pretty much everyone I know gets some type of delivery every day, even if it's just groceries, Amazon. Everything is just coming to our door with the click of a button on our phones. So this is the first time I'm actually telling you to go shop in store rather than online if you're in Canada. I always recommend people shop online. There tends to be better deals deals online, you have frequent sales, whereas going in store, the selection's not as great, the size selection's not as great. Or online, you kind of have some exclusive discounts, exclusive pieces, exclusive colors that you're not gonna find in store. So this is my first time making a purchase from Aloe Yoga. I think the reason being was just convenience. There wasn't a lot available in Canada before the stores opened. And you are all lying if you say you are not influenced by the influence wearing aloe yoga. Now a lot of brands really value inclusivity and a lot of their models reflect that on the website but you'll find if you go into the aloe website every single model on there is the same size including Kendall and Kylie Jenner. Now what's funny is I'm telling you to be shopping in store but the aloe yoga website is so good. I love their website. When you hop on their website there's a section that actually is called new to aloe which I think is genius. It explains the different fabrics, it explains the different colors, the fit, the lengths, everything that you want to know all in the same place. But my favorite way to sort for activewear online is sorting by activity. If I'm not actually going in a store and feeling the fabric and the compression, you telling me that fabric is like 83% polyester or something, means nothing to me. I need to know what the actual item was designed for. Was it designed for yoga, Pilates, tennis, weight training, running? I need to know. I love websites that actually sort their workout clothes by activity. All right, so you're saying, so what, Angela? And lots of websites have their workout wear split out by activity. Why is aloe yoga so special? Let me tell you. If you scroll down right before you get to the reviews, there's a section of review highlights, and it must be AI that kind of filters through all the comments and comes up with the description. That's like a high level review of all of the comments. For example, for this legging, it says, customers like the high waist airlift legging because they're comfortable and flattering. They say that the leggings have a great fit and provide a good amount of compression. They're also satisfied with the high waist. However, some mention that the leggings can be a bit too tight for some body types. I think this is so genius because I always read reviews. I don't just read the five star reviews. I like to go in and read the three and four star reviews to see where the item might be lacking a little bit, just to know what I'm in for. So this is amazing. If you are heavily influenced by models, then there actually is a section as well that is called as seen on Kendall and Kylie. So if that's what you're going for, or maybe they posted something on their stories and you want to check it out, you can actually access it through this, which I guess makes sense. Now they do have several fabrics like most companies do. There is kind of like a low, medium, and high compression type of fabric. If you live near one of the aloe yoga stores, I recommend going online, looking at the new to aloe section, looking at pictures, different descriptions, reviews, and then figuring out what you think is gonna work for you, and then going into the store to purchase it. And now you're wondering why I keep telling you to purchase it in store if you live in Canada is because the online prices are inflated by 30 
percent. I'm gonna go through the pieces that I bought yesterday in Calgary, Alberta. I will show you the price tag of what I purchased them for, and then you will see what they're going for online. Now, the reason they are way more expensive online is because there is no Canadian warehouse, and it says that the prices include all duties and taxes. Now, what I love about the store that's different than other stores is that everything is laid out by color theme, which is very interesting. Usually places like, you know, Lululemon, Sportcheck, they will have a legging that you want and they'll have every single color and size available in that style of legging. However, Aloe Yoga is split out by neighborhoods of color and it's super fun because walking into each one is kind of its own vibe and I think that's really fun. Now when I walked into the store yesterday, they have a new limestone color for spring. In fact, I saw Kendall Jenner post about it on her Instagram stories yesterday and she looks phenomenal in that color. I just wasn't vibing with it. All right, let's get into this and definitely stay tuned because I will be telling you the price that I paid in store versus what they have advertised online in Canada. I will do a full try on haul so you can see what they look like on my body type. I do wear size extra small. That is my true size. And I have my measurements in the description below if you want to take a peek. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We talk all things wellness, fitness, and how I fit it into my schedule as a mom of two kids. All right, the first thing that I purchased is a seamless rib favorite short, and this is in the color lilac blue. I did buy an extra small. This is a five inch inseam, so it is a little bit shorter than I normally wear, but this color was just calling to me. I feel like it's very unique and I haven't seen anything like this. So if you can see, there is a three-tiered waistband. It is high-waisted. I would say it's pretty compressive based on the material. It's a nice thick material. There is a front seam and a back seam. But what's interesting about the description of these is that they have what they call a front smoothing panel for commando comfort is what they say. When I work out and lift weights, I definitely wear a seamless thong. But when I'm doing yoga, I don't always want to be wearing underwear underneath my yoga shorts. I frequently will go commando in my my yoga pants. My friends and I always have discussions about whether we go command or not for yoga so please comment down below because I need to know if I'm alone in this or if some of you are also going commando. I feel like the fact that Allo has it on their site that this is made for a commando situation, then I know I'm not alone. Anyways, I'm gonna try this on and we definitely wanna see if this front seam is gonna be giving camel toe. Also want to see if this thicker material is going to be squat proof. Now I did buy the matching bra. So this is the seamless rib strength bra. Again, it's in the color lilac blue and I did get my true size extra small. Now what I love about this bra is that it's completely adjustable. So again, I will try it on for you, but it does have the eye hook closure in the back and the straps are fully adjustable. Now the straps can also be removed so you can wear them cross back or just regular depending on how much lift you want. And we do have removable bra pads in them. I honestly said to the salesperson at the Ella store if this was like a regular bra bra or if it's actually a sports bra and she says you know it can be both some people wear it for lounging people wear it for yoga given this band at the bottom I'm assuming it's also going to be high impact I could probably wear it for training as well all right here we go put on the lilac blue outfit and the color is just it's so good. I normally don't wear colors like this. The thing about aloe is I find the materials are all really thick. So I'm feeling okay wearing a lighter color. It's a really nice ribbed material and it feels really high quality, really luxurious. So we'll start with the shorts. It is a five inch inseam. So a little bit shorter than I normally wear, but it's not digging in or anything. It feels really good. It has the nice compressive waistband right here. It is listed as high-waisted, so it is hitting up right above my belly button, which is nice. It does have that smoothing front panel here, so I'm not seeing any camel toe. Just feeling really good. I feel really definitely like a medium compression and feeling pretty supported here for, you know, a good hot yoga session, Pilates, even lifting, I feel good. Not noticing any riding up. The most annoying thing for shorts for me is when I'm constantly pulling these down, but I feel like these could be used in the gym. They could be used as lounge shorts. Really, really liking it. Now let's talk about the bra. I'm still a bit indifferent about the bra. Just the style, the color is like, yeah, 
but the style's a little, I'm not sure if it's flattering on me. I do love these really nice wide thick straps. They're really comfortable. They don't feel like they're digging in. There is removable pads here and a nice band at the bottom. I don't feel like it's going anywhere. It's definitely a high impact bra for me. The thing I don't love about it is the hook and eye closure at the back. So it's definitely giving like strapless bra, but when I put strapless bras on, I have to like put them and do them up at the front and then spin them around because I can never get the three hooks to match. So I definitely struggled putting this on. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know I work out really early in the morning, 5, 6 a.m. So I don't wanna be fumbling with my bra that early in the morning. Nothing irritates me more when I can't get dressed quickly. Now the logos for aloe aren't really in your face. So we've got a kind of nice muted gray aloe logo here. And in the shorts, there is a matching little muted gray logo down at the bottom here. Pretty versatile bra and like I mentioned the straps do come off here so you can wear them cross back or you can just wear them normal as well so there are a few options here really comfortable doesn't feel like it's digging in again I'm not sure I can't speak to if you have a larger vest size how it would fit but I'm really digging it let me know what you think about the color the style I'm feeling good about this one all right are we ready to talk prices the shorts that I was looking at online right here, these were listed online as $93. So $93 for a five inch inseam pair of biker shorts is, is pretty extreme. I mean, they do feel really luxurious, really high quality. I know they'll last a long time, but $93 is definitely up there. Now I purchased these in store in Calgary for $70. Now the sports bra, get this, I had to double check because I thought I was losing it, but online this sports bra is listed as $128, just so much for a sports bra. And I don't care who you are, paying $128 for a sports bra like this is, yeah. I purchased the sports bra in store for $78. So little bit more reasonable and definitely with the quality of it, I'd say that's a pretty good price point. Now what's interesting to me, if you missed it, the shorts were $70 and the sports bra was $78. I've never seen a set where the sports bra is more expensive than the bottoms. So really interesting. But again, super cute color, like I said, unique, really well made. Loved the rib detailing. Let me know your thoughts. All right, next up I have one of the best sellers. So this is the full length high waist airbrush legging. This is in the color Mulberry and it is the in size extra small. Right away, it feels like a thicker Align pant. If you're familiar with and love the Align pant, then this one might be for you. It's a much thicker material. The airbrush material they do say is great for medium to high impact training. It is kind of a matte smooth finish. It is full length legging. I'm gonna put this on for you and you will see that it is definitely long enough for me. What I love, is that online it says if you're 5'5 five five or shorter you're gonna be wanting to get the 7 8 length because this will just probably be too long on you I believe this is a 28 inch inseam now to go with it I grabbed this incredibly soft crop t-shirt it is called the aloe soft crop finesse short sleeves aloe soft is the really really soft brushed fabric that's mainly for lounge however I frequently lift weights in this material and I haven't tried this guy on but I did get a size small because I was worried extra small might feel a little bit too tight in the underarms but honestly I wish you could feel this in person it is one of the softest things I've ever felt. We have our style in the mulberry color this is airbrush material which is the soft matte finish it is a very thick legging now right away when I put it on it's definitely giving a line from the front. You saw me walking down the street. You most likely will think that this is an Align legging. It is much thicker, which I love. It is super stretchy material. I wouldn't say it's that compressive. It says it's designed for medium intensity workouts. I will say, you know, if I'm jumping around or probably doing some squats, I am gonna be doing a little bit of this throughout the day, which I hate. Something I do wanna mention about the legging is that it is listed as high-waisted, but I'm finding it slipping a little bit and I have a hard time keeping it up above my belly button. So I'm not sure that this is as high-waisted as other brands, 
Um, it's sitting kind of just at my belly button. So that's something to keep in mind is if you want something high-waisted, this is not as high-waisted as other brands. We do have the front seam with the smoothing panel here, so not really giving any camel toe. And then in the back, there is a back seam, but it is a T-seam, so it's not doing much for my glutes. I feel like these would be really nice for yoga and lounge, but that's probably the only time you'd see me wearing it. Now let's talk about the shirt. I love the shirt. I love it for, you know, just regular lounging. I could even wear it, you know, with jeans. I'm really loving how soft it is. Honestly, can't stop touching it. I just put a regular bra underneath. I probably have to put something a little bit more seamless on. I love this color and I'm super happy that I sized up from an extra small to a small because I feel like the small just fits a little bit better and it's not as going to be as tight here in the arms. Now, are we ready for the prices? These pants online, they were listed as $160 Canadian. $160 Canadian is definitely a steep price point. For a more luxurious pant, $160 is decent. However, in store, I bought these for $108. So almost $60 less than they're listed online. Can you believe that? And definitely worth $108 in my opinion. I could see myself wearing these a lot and honestly, I think they're gonna last a long time. And the short sleeve crop, I mean, I would pay a lot of money for this because I just love a really soft, well-made t-shirt. Online, it was listed as $93. Okay, that's a little bit more than I would pay for a shirt like this, but in-store, I paid $68. Let me know your thoughts on the mulberry color. I think it's a keeper for me. Next up is one of their best sellers. And I was a little indifferent about this one. I had to try it in multiple sizes and colors. In the end, I did end up going with the navy. This is the Airlift Intrigue bra. Now, the Airlift is their material that they also have labeled as more of a medium to high impact. However, the material is more of that slippery material that has a sheen to it. I don't love shiny materials for my bottoms, mainly because when I'm squatting, I feel like shiny material kind of makes your leggings look see-through. So I opted to just get the Airlift in a sports bra. You'll see when I put it on, it is shiny material, but again, it does have adjustable straps. It has removable bra pads, the beautiful scoop neck, which you'll be able to see when I put on. And it also does have a kind of keyhole detail. For this, I did get a size small. So I did size up. The saleswoman at the store last night was very helpful. And she said the extra small looked great on me, but I just felt a little uncomfortable. The small, I felt a little bit more comfortable in it, especially if I'm going to be using it for lounge. All right, moving forward with the Airlift Intrigue bra. This is the material that is that slightly shiny any slippery material and not something that I normally wear in leggings. There is matching airlift leggings, but I opted to just get the bra. Now I got a navy bra, but they also have the mulberry color as well. And again, as you're cruising through the store, through the different neighborhoods, you can mix and match the different pieces or coordinate and get one color combo. I did get a small because I felt like the extra small was a little bit too small here. And I was getting a little bit of that extra arm fat going on, but a really nice scoop neck here in the back. We have fully adjustable. I did slip it on over my head, but the straps itself are adjustable. And then we have that lovely keyhole detail in the back with the Aloe logo. It has the removable bra pads in it. Definitely more of a kind of low coverage, minimal bra. But if that's what you're going for, then 100% this one's for you. Now the price point for the Airlift Intreat bra online, this is labeled as $105, which again is steep for a sports bra like this, especially a minimal one. But I did purchase this one in store for $68. So again, more reasonable, an easier pill to swallow. I cannot believe the price difference. All right, we are at my most favorite thing that I've purchased so far this year, and this is the High Waist Aloe Soft Lounge Legging. I wish you could feel how soft these are. This is a lounge legging. It's really low compression. The material is so soft. It is a full length. It has a ribbed waistband and there also is ribbing down at the bottom here on the hem. What is super fun is there is a back seam here to help with some contouring and some lift. You can see it's got the dip. And once again, it does have a commando smoothing panel at the front. So we will give this a go to see if it's giving camel toe. Are we ready for these leggings? the most comfortable soft leggings I have ever put on. So again, the high waist aloe soft lounge leggings. 
They are ribbed here up at the front, ribbed waistband, and down near my feet, we also have some ribbing. It is a 28 inch inseam, so very long in length. See myself wearing these leggings for travel, for lounge. I love that they aren't just a regular legging. They, again, are a little bit more flattering, so even though it's low compression, I love that they have the rib waistband here. And because of the contouring in the back here, it's also not giving me a flat butt, which I love, which some yoga leggings usually do. Again, there is that front smoothing seam, so not seeing any camel toe, feeling really comfortable in these. Obsessed with them. The only thing, again, I will say is that it's labeled as a high waist legging, and again, it's barely hitting above my belly button. So um, kind of just a regular rise for me or a mid rise, maybe because I have a longer torso, but again, I'm obsessed with these leggings, my new favorite leggings, and hopefully they'll be your new favorite leggings too. Honestly, just wanna keep touching them. Let's talk price point. So online, these leggings were listed as $175, but in store, I paid $118. I think I might have to go back and get these in more colors. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed my review of Aloe and my first time trying them on and my honest impressions. I hope that if you live in Canada, you will think twice before you actually purchase online. The price to me is significantly different between in-store and online. I highly, highly recommend not shopping online if you're in Canada and going into one of the stores to make your purchase. I'm just looking out for you guys, just trying to save you some money. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.